Today I'm finally going to get a chance to try out this brand new Cena 10C Evo. Now this is their latest generation combination Bluetooth headset and action camera all in one. So we're going to install it on this helmet, then we're going to go out for a ride and give it a try. And that's coming up right now. Don't you just love opening up new toys? Okay, let's see what we got inside here. Ah, there it is. There is the 10C Evo. I'll pull that little sucker out. It's a pretty hefty unit, but not too bad. It's really not as, uh, as big as I thought it would be. It looks even a little bit smaller than the previous version. I'm anxious to get this thing all hooked up and give it a try. Okay, we'll just set this off to the side for now. Let's see what's underneath. Okay, looks like we have some cables, mounting hardware. Of course, this does come with its own set of speakers because it is a Bluetooth communicator. Uh, here's a USB charging cable. This looks like a micro USB uh, cable to charge the Cena. We also have a cigarette lighter adapter. And then there is a user guide, some documentation, installation manual. Currently I'm using a GoPro Hero 4 Silver as my helmet cam. And I'm also using a GoPro Hero 8 Black, uh, which I mount on my handlebars and I have this camera facing back at me uh, when I ride. Let's see how this compares to this GoPro Hero 4 Silver. Okay, just a real quick overview looking at this new 10C Evo. Uh, just to give you a little quick run through, here is the button that controls the camera on top. Uh, we have the jog dial, which is pretty common to your Cena communication systems. Um, if you come back here behind this antenna, you'll see there's a little rubber flap that flips up and this is for your charging cable. This is the USB or the micro USB charging cable. You also have a phone button back here which is also common on the 20S and other uh, Cena models. Here we have the port. Uh, it looks like a proprietary port. This is for the microphone and the speakers I believe. And then down here we have another port or a rubber flap that covers up. This is for the micro SD card. So that is basically, of course, on the front you have the camera. Now you'll also notice a little, a little slider mechanism here. And this allows you to adjust the angle of the camera. You can actually see the lens moving inside there. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pop off this uh, 20S communicator, get it out of the way, because I believe we're going to have to replace this cradle, um, because it doesn't look like this unit works with this cradle that we have for the 20S. There is a kind of a unique plug for the speakers, and then the microphone actually plugs into another little uh, socket or connector that attaches to the speaker. So it all is kind of wired in and it comes through this one connector. And this connector then goes into the bottom of the, or the back of the 10C Evo. This 10C Evo comes with two different mounting clamps as they refer to them and they both mount the same way to the helmet. The difference is this is just a, a plain mounting clamp uh, with no adjustability, or there's a little adjustability based on how you mount it to the helmet. But this one is called a gear clamp, and the gear clamp has an interesting mechanism here uh, that you can unscrew and you can rotate the camera basically 360 degrees. 
So I'm not sure why you would use the regular clamp instead of this gear clamp, other than it does give you a smaller profile, a thinner profile. And so you just basically adjust your mounting plate here and then you tighten this little gear uh, and then you're ready to go. So I think I'm going to install the gear clamp so I think it gives me maximum uh, adjustability so I can rotate the camera if I need to. So now we're ready to install our speakers and you'll notice one speaker has a much longer wire than the other. And that's going to be the speaker that goes <clears throat> on the right side of the helmet because it's farthest away from the cradle. So the speaker with the shortest wire, which is this one, is going to go uh, right near the cradle, obviously. So I'm going to slip it underneath this little piece of trim here and just stick it down like that. It, I already have the Velcro inside the helmet from the previous speakers. And then we'll plug in our other speaker with the longer wire, I'm going to put it over on the right side of the helmet. And then this is the wire that's going to go to the, basically, the microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my speaker on the other side of the helmet. I'm just going to set it there for right now. That should be good. And then we have to run our wire from the left of the right speaker. I'm just going to run it underneath this uh, headliner right here, which comes up. I just pop the little snaps off the headliner and I'll run the wire under that. So here we've got the 10C Evo installed on the helmet. I've got my clamp bracket uh, installed. Here are the wires coming from the speakers and the microphone. So basically all we have to do is plug that into here. It plugs in kind of at the back and at the bottom. So basically I'm just going to plug this in here like that, you want to make sure that the word Cena is facing outward where you can read it, and that means you're plugging it in correctly. So to plug this in, you this thing kind of it's a lock, it's a little latch. So you basically flip it up to put it into the port. Uh, it's still a little cumbersome to get in there. There we go. Now it's in there, and then you lock it down by pressing that little, that little lever or that little tab down into place. That locks it in too, so it won't just pop out. Cena did a really good job on the design of the micro USB port on this unit. It's very easy to install and remove the card. You just need to remember that the printed part of your micro SD card goes toward the helmet. When it comes time to change some of the settings on your 10C Evo, you need to do it using the Cena Camera app. This was a little confusing for me because I couldn't find much information on this in the user guide. Basically, I was trying to change the resolution settings on the camera, and I couldn't find any real information in the user guide on how to do that. But you do it through the camera app, and you can change some other settings as well. Now. The important thing to remember is the camera must be turned on before you can connect to the app, obviously. And you'll need to download this app from the Apple uh, App Store or through Google Play Store. Now, you must remember it is the Cena camera app and not the normal Cena app that you would use to connect to your communicator. I made that mistake the first time I was trying to use the incorrect app. So make sure you download the Cena camera app, and then once you get it connected to your 10C Evo, which took me a couple of times to get it to work, but it did finally connect, then uh, you will basically be able to go in and change all of your settings. Here I'm showing how easy it is to change the resolution settings. You do need to make sure that you have a micro SD card installed and formatted before it can save these settings, and that's a pretty easy thing to do. And you can see some of the various uh, options that you have through this camera app. It's actually very flexible, and once you get the app installed and get it connected to your camera, it's pretty easy to use as well. 
from within the camera app, you can see through the lens of the camera live and you can start and stop recording from here as well or take photographs. What I like about this is when you're sitting on the motorcycle with your helmet on, you can use this live image to adjust the rotation of the lens to make sure you have the correct horizon to make sure everything's level. It's really a nice little feature. Another feature is the ability to obviously view the videos or photos you've taken with the camera. So you can use the app to actually see what you have uh, on the camera and you can also download these to your phone from within the app. It's another nice feature. I usually just remove the SD card and copy it all to my computer, but some people like to work off their telephone. So here's a scene from a recent motovlog I did using uh, the 10C Evo, comparing it to the GoPro Hero 4. Now I'm shooting in 1080p, and here you can see the GoPro Hero 4 uh, looking out through the front of the motorcycle. And now we're going to switch over and take a look at what the video looks like coming from the 10C Evo. Now you'll notice the 10C Evo video is not quite as wide an angle as the Super View on my GoPro Hero 4, but it's still pretty wide. There's also what I would say would be deeper, richer colors with the 10C Evo. And also you'll notice I have the little date and timestamp down in the bottom right corner. So right now you're listening to the audio coming from the Cena 10C Evo. How do you like the audio coming from the 10C Evo? This is what it sounds when I'm using the microphone connected to the Cena 10C Evo. And I am using the boom mic on my modular helmet. Now you're listening to the audio from the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. And I'm using a Purple Panda lavalier microphone with a dead cat silencer attached to the inside of the chin bar on my HJC IS, or actually this is a Cymax 3 helmet. So how do you like the sound coming from the Hero GoPro Silver? So here we can see a split screen showing the 10C Evo on top and the GoPro on the bottom. Now this is a GoPro 4, so it's several generations behind. But you can see the colors on the 10C Evo are really just much uh, richer than they are uh, in the GoPro. Now I could change some of that with color correction. I didn't do any color correcting on either of these files. The GoPro probably has a little bit better stabilization. I don't even know if the 10C Evo has any stabilization, but I would consider this acceptable stabilization for a helmet camera or for an action camera that's mounted to the helmet. So I don't really have a problem with a little bit of shake uh, since we're riding a motorcycle. I should also mention that after shooting this video clip, I was able to uh, adjust the mounting of the 10C Evo a little bit further forward as far as I could get it on this modular helmet and I was able to get rid of some of that helmet showing up in the top right hand side of the video. So uh, it becomes minimal at some point. It's really not a big distraction and like I said earlier you can easily crop that out in post editing. You can also turn off the date time. I just put that on there because I wanted to see how it looked. One other thing I have noticed about the audio recording through the boom microphone, you have to be careful not to have the microphone too close to your mouth. I did this a couple of times and it really does pick up a lot of the breathing on me anyway. Uh, so in later videos, I learned that lesson. Uh, you'll see in a second a video I did with Don Smith where we're testing the intercom recording capability. Uh, you'll hear a lot of breath in the, uh, in the audio. And I think something besides the little foam cover for the boom mic might work better. Uh, maybe even a dead cat for a lavalier microphone might cut out a little more of that noise. However, it does not produce much background noise. It does a very good job of, of getting rid of the engine noise and the road noise. So uh, I think the, the audio is actually much better than I expected for a helmet cam.
We're going to go to the Alamo. Okay. 300 miles north of the real Alamo. Oh, you're in for a treat. Make a left. You know, the ability to record video on this uh, Cena 10C and be able to record the audio, especially for those of you guys that are riding groups a lot and they all use Cena's. In the Wayne movie, you'll see the mother and child all through the movie. The child became known as the baby of the Alamo, and the child in real life is my great great grandmother. So let me wrap this up with a final analysis of the Cena 10C Evo. First of all, uh, you're getting a good video camera. I wouldn't say a great camera. It's not going to compete with a GoPro Hero 8 Black, but I don't think that's what it's for. But it is better than I thought it would be. It actually is better than my Hero 4 Silver. You also get really good audio, much, much better than I was expecting. You just have to make sure not to have the microphone too close to your mouth or you'll get that uh, breathing sound through the microphone. But I think I can alleviate that with uh, a dead cat or maybe some other kind of filtering. Also, you have the ability to record an intercom conversation between other riders on your network if you're connected through Bluetooth. That's a huge value add for those of you that ride with other people or in a group. Uh, something that would be very difficult to do if you had a GoPro. The 10C Evo is very lightweight. It's very easy to install, much easier than my GoPro setup on my helmet. That's a big advantage. It just has a kind of a smaller profile. You also have the ability to shoot photos with this camera, not just video, and you can shoot still photos while you're recording video. That's a very cool feature. And of course, this new 10C Evo model, you can record up to 4K. And in spite of being a little challenging to connect to, the camera app itself, once you get connected, is very nice and very well laid out. Makes it very easy to set up your camera or change settings. The camera itself is extremely easy to use. It's a one button operation, uh, very nice interface. So overall, I think I would have to give this uh, 10C Evo a thumbs up. I think Cena did an excellent job. I think it's a great helmet cam, and especially for those of you that ride with other Cena riders and you want to be able to record audio and video. Now, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that little subscribe button down below and don't forget the bell icon that will notify you when we come out with new videos. Also, I look forward to your comments, what you think of the 10C Evo or any of the other Cena products. Thanks again for joining us today on Cruise Man's Reviews. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.